What's up guys, Ramsey here. I've got in my hand the brand new Samsung Galaxy S2 Skyrocket. That's a mouthful, so I'm proud of myself for making it through that. What I want to do today is test the iPhone 4S versus the Samsung Galaxy S2 Skyrocket that is running 4G LTE. How fast does the phone run on the AT&T network? That's what I want to test today. I have a sweettest.net pulled up, an app you can download on both Android and iOS, and essentially this town tests download and upload speed. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and get these tests started. And so here we go, we've got the initial results. The iPhone 4S has four megabytes per second in terms of its download speed and one megabyte per second um, in terms of its upload speed, which is pretty good. Uh, the 4G LTE network here uh, is running about 19 megabytes per second in download speed and 5.3 one megabytes per second in upload speeds. This data is great. Does it really translate uh, in terms of the everyday things that people use? Next, what I want to test is if what, what if we pull up ESPN.com on both particular phones, which one will load faster? So I haven't hit go yet on either one of these, but I have them pulled up and let's see what happens. I'm gonna try to attempt to do this uh, with my finger at the same time. Here we go. So if I hit go on both going 4G LTE pretty much loaded so there was a speed difference probably about a second and load time and what if we launch the video this would be a good test here on both particular web pages all right let's so let's try this here we're gonna launch the video so what's interesting is the OS of Apple iOS actually loaded the video faster than it did here on Android. 4G LTE is faster network-wise. Um, it seems to me that the software probably loaded that a little quicker than um, Android could over here. So here we go, hitting go, and they're off to the races. And look at that within less, I mean, that was about a second uh, of load time for the 4G LTE Samsung Galaxy S. Gosh, that's a mouthful. And the iPhone here, um, probably about a second and a half behind. 4G LTE versus 3G. What's the difference? And one, two, ready, go. There we go. Look at that. That is so quick. What I'm also curious about is what does this mean for apps? So, um, more importantly, video apps. And I know that most people use uh, YouTube. So let's go to YouTube. Here we go. So this one's actually playing now, um, and it has not yet played now. Yep, there you go. And what I'm most interested to see uh, in terms of 4G versus 3G is that while this is 20 megabytes per second, which sounds, you know, to tech geeks, amazing and fast, that really just translated to about a, a second and a half of load time, which. Yeah, depending on how impatient or ADD you are, that may mean a whole heck of a lot, or it may not. That's the difference. I just wanted to show people really what the practical difference is between 4G LTE on AT&T is versus 3G, uh, again, also on AT&T. So, there you go.